Hello, in this video we are going to discuss about entire root of drug administration that is the very basic root of drug administration. Actually what happened in this root? Drug is moving across the GIT. So starting from the mouth, esophagus, intestine and the ultimate destination of the drug is intestine. That is why it is called enteral. Enteral means in, towards intestine or inside intestine. So this root also contains the rectal root which I have not mentioned here but because of the intestine you might have heard and come to know in the end of the lecture. So The reason for the preference of this root is because it is common, convenient and safest and economical for the patients. The classification of the enteral root generally it is classified on these basis like we are having oral root, we are having sublingual or buccal root, we are having a rectal root. Now let's discuss about the oral root. In oral root, the most common dosage forms are tablet, capsule, suspension or syrups. So what oral root has to do means we are taking the drugs by mean of mouth which has to be passed through mouth then esophagus then stomach and the last destination is obviously the intestine then we are having sublingual root sublingual root by means of sublingual administra administration of the drug means it is the placement of the drug underneath or under the tongue drug reaches directly into the systemic circulation or blood stream by means of sublingual medications that are administered sublingually dissolved under the tongue without chewing or swelling them absorption is very quick in this case and higher drug levels are achieved in the blood stream so sublingual is the fastest route of the you know, fastest route of drug administration among the enteral route the main drug which is being administered in this is nitroglycerin you might have heard which is used for antihypertensive then we have rectal root so human rectal represents body cavity it is a sort of body cavity in which drugs can be retained or introduced or inserted and from which absorption is well possible and the plus point of this root as you know that the rectal root is an enteral root the plus point is the hemorrhoidal veins drain the drug directly into the inferior vena cava avoiding hepatic first pass metabolism now hepatic first pass metabolism is the one of the disadvantage of this oral root because the drug may be degraded or you can say it is wasted more than 20 30 or 40 percent or 50 percent even because of the enzymatic degradation so hemorrhoidal veins direct drain directly into the inferior vena cava so it inhibits the first pass metabolism then we have example of the rectal root obviously example root, example of this root is postries uh, dosage form then now finally we are going to discuss about advantages and disadvantages of the whole entire root first we discuss about the advantages <coughs> as we know that is it is easy preferred by the patient economical number of dosage forms available for this root example you are having tablet capsule syrup suspensions convenient least expensive safe does not break skin barrier sustained release dosage form are also the drug uh, drugs are also advantage of this route <coughs> then we are having disadvantages so unpredictable absorption poor adherence to scheduled dosing patient must be conscious orally administered drugs are absorbed slowly some patients do not take because of the bitter taste in case of a positive privacy concern patient dislikes so unpredictable absorption by means we are having acid related factors intestine related factors liver related factor first pass effect so we cannot guarantee that absorption is 100 percent so poor adherence by means of poor adherence means a non-compliance a patient like a patient have been told to take the medicine for two times or three times a day but he is taking only one time so it is a poor adherence patient must be conscious obviously if he has to swallow the drug he should be conscious or related drugs are absorbed slowly as we have discussed earlier some patients do not like uh, do not take the oral drugs because of the bitter taste so bitter taste 
is the prime disadvantage that many of the people or patient avoid this route in case of specific privacy concern and patient dislike this route so thank you very much keep subscribing us and keep watching our next videos thank you